We are in 1836 New Orleans, and this is um, a very unique time in history. European men and free women of color um, were matched up in these common law marriages, um, and it was a system that was highly problematic, although it did allow for a little more freedom um, for some of these free women of color, but it was it's like a gilded cage. A lot of the rights that they were used to were being um, taken away from them. Beatrice, and uh, Marcus has intentionally spelt her name B-E-A-R-T-R-I-C-E because the image of a bear, a mama bear. It's about the um, a secret she has, a dark secret, uh, that will end up destroying her and um, in some ways uh, destroying her family. She's trying to figure out, what do I pass on to my daughters? How do I help enable them to live in a way that has more freedom than I was able to live in, in this lifetime? Their mother doesn't want them to be a place. She lived through the place, the plassage experience, and um, found it to be very much like slavery and that her daughters are worth more, they deserve more. This is a story about six women with deep strength, deep passion, deep love. It is transformative, it's very lyrical, and it finds a way to your heart. It kind of goes all over the place in a really wonderful, wonderful way. What surprises me about this play is how funny it is and how it rides this razor edge of style, humor, sophistication, pull, and then brutal heartache. The roller coaster ride of emotion and of passion, of, 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 of fighting, of loving, of trying to get out. I love that kind of gumbo. It's a kind of rich gumbo that doesn't have just one ingredient. Uh, it's got a little something for everyone.